May Drake. He said what? June, Dr. Disrespect. Oh, that's funny. July, Chris from Mr. Beast. August, Mr. Beast. September, Diddy. October, Young Philly. <laughs> Who's going to be up in November? Who's going to be the Christmas special? Chat Williams, you you said that. You know what this makes me think of? This makes me think of those advent calendars. But instead of chocolate, you just get a different <laughs> grape. <laughs> Ain't that shit crazy? You know what Christmas before Christmas? You open yeah. up. Update on the young Philly situation. So uh since the initial video we did, there's been some updates and I figured I would cover some of them. Yes, my peoples, like everyone, I've had to reports coming out of Australia. Um, whilst I understand many of you want my reaction on it, um, as this is an ongoing court case, I hope you guys can understand that I can't and won't be commenting on it publicly. Um, so yeah, I've just come on here to basically let you know the reasons as to why I can't love. What? Did you let me marry into your family? 110%. You specifically, you are a great flipping human being on my life, brother. Yeah, I'll let you, I'll let you marry. We've been out two seats every time. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I wouldn't let you marry my family, but yeah. Why? Uh -huh. I'm a good man. <laughs> What's wrong with me? No, I have too many stories. Anyway, yeah. What Be stories? Sure. Huh? So, you guys remember what I said when I said that for Philly... It is over. It's over whether he's found guilty or not. And people were like, oh, you guys are condemning him. I'm not condemning him to anything. I'm just saying based off of his brand and the work that he's done, the mere accusation is enough to ruin everything he's built up up until now, especially in an environment like the media of the UK. You have to understand, this guy was tied to some very big brands. He was doing things with Heinz. He had his own like mustard line or some shit. He was doing things with ASOS. He was doing things with BBC. He was doing, pause, with all kinds of things, okay? Which in the context of a <laughs> great case, I is, thought I was about to say yeah, was he was wild. doing a lot of things with his BBC. He was doing things with his BBC. He shouldn't Bye. have. But anyway, okay. So let me take a look at some of that stuff. Pause. Super pause. What? Now, honestly, this must have been the most expensive weekend of his entire life. Because just as we spoke about in the last video, creators and brands have started distancing themselves from. Mr. Philly. Now, the first one that I saw was the Sidemen obviously removed their 20 versus 1 edition. That actually happened as I was recording the last video, which, I mean, had 42 million views. So that would have been a painful one to remove. The FA cancelled a new show that was going to have Philly uh, cooking alongside other big Premier League players like Sutton. The FA is the most wealthy league in the world. So losing that brand... My guy. That's, the, watch, that's like losing Nike. I don't watch football, and I know that. Yeah. Okay. His brand deals with ASOS have all been deleted. His source that he had with Heinz, that's been pulled. His clothing line with Perplex has been taken down. Foot Asylum announced that they are suspending their contract with Young Philly uh, with immediate effect. His dating show with Gymshark called Hit Off has now been unlisted. His first live show for the Chunks and Philly podcast is now being cancelled, and the producers of that show, Upload Productions, well, they said that they are pausing all and any work with Young Philly. Everything. What? That's what I meant when I said it's all dead. And and if he's found not guilty, well, it's not coming no, it's back. Not coming back. That, that's what I'm trying to make y'all understand on this. Now, you guys can argue for whether or not it's fair. And there's an argument to be made that before you've been found guilty in court, is it right that you lose everything? And I probably would argue not. But the way brands function, especially in that environment, they, they don't have the luxury to wait or to find out or to hope because their brand is going to be negatively impacted by public perception. They work with the same thing that uh, insurance companies work. Yep. Liability. That's it. If you're a liability to the brand, it's, it's going to be done. Yep. Even after, you're still liable. There's that in, you got that in your aura. Yeah. But there is an unexpected guest involved in all this that has a take on this and that thinks he's guilty. Go on. Fresh and fit. Yay! The boy Fresh just came out the woodwork. He had a hot take on Philly saying, I know him. The only grapers they support is Andrew Tate, apparently. You want to hear what Fresh and Fit have to say? Go ahead. Come on, man. You don't want to hear what them boys got to say? Again! Damn right. <laughs> All right, let's listen, man. And, and guys, it's going to be choppy, but not because I'm going to edit it, but it's because Fresh is talking. Be patient. <laughs> I, I will try. I, I, I'm gonna try to explain. All right. That being said, as crazy. the guy behind the scenes, <laughs> and then like a lot of those like other like big YouTubers, why haven't any of them come out to defend him? That's my question. Sound familiar? Diddy. Who's defending Diddy? Nobody. But why is that though? Could it be true? 
<laughs> the way he talks kills Release me. Release me. Really? <laughs> Why is that though? Could it be because he's guilty? I don't know. But release that. There's something that can be said. All right, let's go. I'm going to just skip ahead. So basically, because you guys don't want to hear Fresh Talk for five minutes, trust me. Uh, Fresh Talk is about a story that he was in London maybe just a year or two ago. And at this time where he's out with some girls, Philly ended up showing up and then he saw some weird behaviors. I'm going to just get to the rich part, okay? Were the other YouTubers there? Yes. Yeah. Who, was that? Who else was there? Bro, you... this, 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 the other nigga tell a story. Yo, yo, bro. <laughs> You just think it, bro. They See, do not wrong. They're just See, there with you. They don't want to be involved, bro. They don't, all right, all right. This all right, one. All right, all right, all right. This is still fresh. The worst storyteller, bro. No, it's because I'm protecting their brand, bro. Like, okay, they, all, right, all right. You just said earlier they don't want to be seen with us. So why are you telling the people who they are? You want this nigga, bro? Well, I didn't know if they were worried about. Yes, they were worried about. Oh, so they're normie people I'm, too. I'm not saying their names. Okay, all right. All right. Anyhow, <laughs> so we go up with some YouTubers, man. They're showing us love. My bottles too. It's like when you watch mom and dad fight. <laughs> And there's like <laughs> 10 people at the dinner table and everyone's quiet. Okay, Peter, now pass me the potatoes. The potatoes. Because <laughs> you know she's just fucking seething so the words don't come out right, but you're not going to call it out. No, 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 you're just going to pass her the potatoes. Pot pot potatoes. potatoes. Right. We're there having a great time. The club is closing in like 30 minutes or so. Out of the blues guy pops up. I'm like, who is this nigga? Talking to the girls, touchy-feely. I'm just like, did someone invite this nigga? Mind you, I don't know who he is. Mind you, he didn't know most of the girls there. He just knew one of them that I was talking to, which is fine. And um, we're chilling, vibing, whatever. Well, what's wrong? It is the worst storytelling I could give it to. I just think that if you give, give it some time, it's like watching something fast forwarded, but it's also buffering at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like, so, so does come to the club and uh, there's way, but. Philly is just coming through and I'm talking to one of the girls and uh... remember I said the club closed in like 30 minutes he comes at a bright end at night at a club and he's there at a the table I'm like who's this guy whatever so then he's talking to most girls, girls at the table and the one, the one I'm talking to he takes particular interest into so he's like talking to her the nigga's like thirsty bro like when I say like overly thirsty is like grabbing her trying to pull her to the car take away from her friend this is like Bro, do your thing. I'm not gonna stop you because hey, that's that's not only your brother. The nigga's pulling the girl to the car, like like, like pulling, pulling her, her, legit pulling her. And I'm like, I'm go I'm gonna go to the this. hotel. And her friends are like, yo, this is crazy. Like, what's happening? Somebody go get her. She's like, where are you guys going? Like, why is he pulling me this way? So I leave. I go to my hotel. I get a text saying, yo, listen, I'm dropping her off to you right now. Which is the YouTuber girl that told me she's coming. Okay, so she grabbed her from him. Yeah, and then I asked her. So what happened? You didn't want to go home, boy? Oh, no, this and that. He was being pushy, whatever. But I want to go home with you. I just don't want to, like, make a scene. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Kind of find out. I called the other YouTuber girl later on. Uh -huh. She told me the full story of what happened. He wanted to smash, by any means possible. So I was like, oh, shit, this is how this thing moves. She's like, yeah, everyone knows. Damn. Even Fresh and Fit saying this dude weird. Everybody knows. But on tape. That being said. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. No. <laughs> no, personally, I just think that with guys like Young Philly, you know, they just um they can't be trusted because they thirsty, mad thirsty for girls. And <clears throat> that's why you in jail. But what about what he said? What about what he said? I mean, it just corroborates what I've heard a lot of people behind the scenes. And, and here's what I think. It's one thing if you have accused in the public. Like, you guys know when Fresh and Fit got accused by that girl. And I went to go listen. I'm like, that story's bogus. So the people are like, oh, you just going to believe the story. It's not that I believe the story. I'm not even telling you guys what happened or what didn't happen. But all the circumstantial evidence for me points to I would be very wary of him behind closed doors. That's it. And you might say that's a lot. But when I hear the prosecutor in court saying... We have CCTV evidence. We have footage. We have photos of her injuries to her body that depict a history Yo. of violence on her. When he's using, saying, we have an incredibly strong case. I'm like, okay, that's a fact. Who have nothing to gain. Who mm. privately, before any of this happened and after, tell me he moves a little bit weird. He's very aggressive with ladies. Hey guys, it's Mala Isaac. I'm going to give my honest opinion about this whole Young Philly situation. As you guys may know or may not know, he got charged with uh, R 
and it's been like all over the news um i'm gonna give my honest humble opinion okay i've met the guy um i personally don't like him he's he's not a nice person I'm, I'm just gonna be honest to me anyway i don't know to his friends he might be a nice person but to like if you've met him in real life you you'll know he he acts in a certain way especially if he's around people he he has a very big ego and he kind of looks down on a lot of people and people think all this stuff we're saying even his friends say this they get on podcasts they talk about how rude and nasty he can be to people all the time so that's why when folks are like oh these are just rumors they're not rumors like when your friends are saying it when people who don't know you are saying it when all these unrelated people are saying it and not only are they saying this guy's arrogant but they're saying he aggressive with the ladies and he little shit I'm sorry. It just, to me, that's probably the biggest smoking gun someone can give me outside of like footage and photo videos because there's no way 15 to 20 people who are all unrelated to each other are all reporting the exact same details about you. But yeah, this is where we're at with the updates. This is a story that's going to keep evolving and we're going to keep our eye on it. But from what I'm gathering, oh, yeah. You're going to get updates from this. I mean, you know, of course, we're going to see where the court case goes. I'd be very curious to see when the photos get released or if they leak. That'd be really interesting because when they talk about a history of violence, that sounds super aggressive. But if it just turns out to be a few bruises, it's going to make me look at the prosecution completely differently. Have they just been lying in court? Have they been lying to the public in regards to what they actually saw? Um, but obviously, in the court's opinion, as well as the judge, not only were the allegations serious, but the proof that they needed to be able to hold him there on very strict bail where he couldn't leave. He couldn't talk about this court case publicly. He had to leave a deposit. He would not be able to leave the country. I'm sorry, I just laughed because uh, two years ago, I bought a car and they asked me for a deposit and it was $500. That was not a deposit. That's a hundred and twenty two dollars. A hundred twenty two thousand dollars. That's not a deposit. Nice. That's the whole car. The whole car. He left a car there. What the fuck? Yep. Yeah. That's he left the whole vehicle there. They said you're not leaving nowhere. No, you're not leaving nowhere. Yeah. You're staying here. Yeah. And yeah, was that your passport? We'll take that. You can't travel. You can't leave, dude. Yeah. 